Okay, here's an update on the canister style filter I built for my turtle tank, for my red eared slider. Um, the canister worked great, but the problem was this lid right here. I can't get the darn thing off to change out the media. Um, once it sat for a while, it got so hard that without putting a pipe wrench, a huge pipe wrench on the canister, and then another wrench up on that top knob, uh, I was never going to get it open. Um, and I can't pull it out to the garage and get out big tools every time to clean this. It just doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is do a rebuild on the canister. I'm going to reuse all my hoses and parts and all my fittings and get a new one going here. So I will show you how that works out and hopefully we will have one that's a little easier to operate. Um, we're also, my daughter's cooking bacon over here. So that's great. Um, I'm going to keep my hands off the bacon while I'm doing this, so if I give you any bacon, it's okay. My daughter made it. parts I'm going to be using for this. So my old canister, I still had an inlet and an outlet, and I built this base, which was a couple different pieces that I had to silicone to keep from leaking, um, and then this top with the screw-on lid. So the whole thing was expensive because all those little parts, these parts, these parts really add up um, and they leak. It's really hard to get them watertight, which surprised me. So what I'm doing on this next build, I've got another piece of pipe. I happen to have one left over. I think you can get a short section at Lowe's for uh, about five dollars. And I'm using two separate pieces. This is actually a knockout test cap. I'm hoping that it's strong enough to last for this. But it's just going to glue in, and that's going to be my base. So I'll glue that on as the base. And then for my top, I'm actually using another test device. This is a compression test fitting. So what it has is this little wing nut on top that drives these two plastic plates together. When they drive together, when they're pulled together, it expands that rubber gasket around the edge. So you slide that in and you just turn this thing until it grabs. Um, and that will give you a watertight seal. We use those in construction for testing pipes. So I'm hoping it's a much more streamlined look. So I'm hoping I can just change my fittings over. Move these couple of fittings over then in the bottom I'll have a fitting, move my screen basket over, put my filter, um, my biological media, and then another screen filter, and then on top of that I will put my, um, my straining media, which is just a, uh, a fiber fill, like a pillow fill. So I'll get this built and show you what it I'll looks like. I'll show you the assembled unit. So here I've just glued on this bottom cap. Hopefully that holds, and I've installed the two brass fittings. What I did for those was just drilled a three-quarter inch hole. These are three-quarter fittings, but they fit really tight, and on this thick pipe, it's very hard to get them in. So I use a torch, and I actually heat the fitting. Um, not flaming hot, because it'll just melt right through, but I get the fitting pretty warm, and then use pliers to twist those in. And you can see here how it melted right around the edge as it's going in. Um, that gave me a really nice tight fit last time. I'm hoping that'll be leak proof this time too. And the final component is my screw on lid. I'm going to take that and hook up all my hose and I'm thinking of just using a bottle with a bunch of holes drilled in it for my biological uh, media. Um, that way it can it can get water flow through it and not spill out and I can save that because you don't change that out very often. Um, especially on a turtle you don't. So I'm going to put the whole thing together and get it running and see how it works. I'll get back to you. Alrighty, that's my turtle. There's his water. Which is looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of a green tint to it. So I must have some algae hanging around there. I don't know if you can make that out on the video got some freshwater clams I put in there too that we caught. I think there's still just a couple of them alive. Probably caught a hundred of them, put them in there, and just a few survived. Um, here's my filter. So you can see it running. You see those bubbles shooting through the hose. And you can hear it 
when they do. Um, the top works really nice. This is a good design. I'm happy with that. But my bottom cap, if you can see in there, um, was not, didn't make a good seal. So I've got it in a bucket and I poured water in the bucket. That way when it's gasping for air trying to suck through the seal or leaking, um, it runs, so at least I can run it right now, so it's going to filter for a few days like this, and I'm going to pull the bottom apart and re-glue it. But overall, I really like this design. I think it's I think it's good. I think this is a cheap way of building it, and I think if I can get everything to seal, it's going to be a good one. So, give Mr. Turbo's light back. <clears throat> and we'll be on our way, so. If uh, anybody's tried to build this, I'd be interested to see what you did, see how it worked out, so... Post your comments or uh, post a video response if you tried to make one like this. I'd love to see what you guys did. Thanks.